What's up guys, this is Tony Solo here and the topic today that I want to talk to you guys about is women avoid nice guys. And I like to say guys who are being too nice because when guys think of nice guys, they always go, oh no, women don't like those. Women actually do like nice guys, but they like them when they have a backbone. So this entire video is about why do women really avoid men who are too nice? A lot of times it comes down to his behaviors are doing things to get stuff back from her. He's always trying to get something from her. And she can feel that underneath what he's doing. She can feel that he's not being truthful. She can feel that everything he does has an agenda. An agenda, it has something that he's not, at, he's not yet secure with. So one of the things that I want you guys to start to do, if you have these behaviors inside of yourself that are not benefiting you with, with women, is to start to look at them first. You need to start to look at the things about you that are repulsing the women that you walk up to. So for some men, it's that when you walk up to a woman, you try to be something that you're not. And as you're trying to be something that you're not, you're constantly under the pressure of walking on eggshells. You're constantly under the pressure of trying to impress her. You're trying to be something you're not, and the woman is repulsed by that because she can feel that that's not you. I, I remember many of the times uh, back in the day of me just trying to impress women. And a lot of times I would try to impress women by putting on acts that I think that they like. So there will be women who like guys who are kind of, uh, who talk kind of rough and so I would try to do that. And then there will be girls sometimes who like guys who are very, very sweet and gentle and I would try to be that. Then I would try to be like the boyfriend type of guy when I knew the girl actually, when I knew I actually wanted to have sex with her. But I, and I would try to just play out this, this way of like trying to be the boyfriend and not trying to, you know, lose her. And all these weird ways of me acting, it all gave me insight into w women were actually repulsed by me, by me doing that. And I thought I was doing something good like most guys do. Most guys actually believe that what they're doing when they do that, they're right in alignment with what the girl wants. They're like, all right, I'm doing the thing, I can see that she wants that type of guy, and I'm gonna do the thing to get her. And once they start doing the thing, the girl's like, she starts to like it, but then after a while, she starts to see the truth. She's like, because once she starts poking and prying at you, she'll notice that that's not who you really are. And then what? Everything comes crashing down, and you continue to do it because that is the thing that you are familiar with that will get you the women that you want. And as you let that go, and as you start to look at it, you go, actually, those women who wanted me, they didn't want me, they wanted the behaviors that I was playing out. So if I continue to play out the behaviors that I think women want, that I think women want, yes, I will attract those women for a certain amount of time, but I'm doing more harm than I am good. So start to look first. So that's one of the ways that guys do it. <clears throat> Another way that guys tend to try to do things that women uh, avoid, behaviors that women avoid, is always trying to give her validation on everything. So they try to just say to her about everything, that everything she does is good. Everything that she does, everything she says, everything that she brings up is absolutely the best. Great. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's great. And women are just like, oh, come on, dude. All I said was that I was in biology at, at college, and you said it's great? All I said is that I work for, a, I'm a barista, and you said that's great? So, that's the other thing, validation. Let go of the validation that you're constantly giving, <laughs> baby, you're laughing because you know. Do you know that? Yeah. Let go of the validation that you're constantly giving women too much. And as you're giving women too much validation, you'll start to notice that you're overextending yourself. And, I, and you're overextending yourself and giving this compliment. And you're overextending yourself and telling her how great she is. You're constantly giving more of your energy than you need to and what is she doing with the access energy? She's just like, oh, that's, that's cool. He can just do that. I mean, he's just like every other guy I meet. And if you want to make that very different, I advise you to start to now look at why am I validating this girl? Why am I giving her appreciation in this moment? Am I doing it because I think that she'll give me something back? Am I doing it because I'm trying to get something in return? 
I'm trying to make her validate a part of me that actually doesn't feel like I'm worthy. I'm trying to make her say that I'm a guy that's uh, respectful or I'm a guy that is good with women just because she's giving me a good response. Am I trying to just get a good response from her so it can show me something about me? Because all these things that women are repulsed by guys who are being too nice, all those things you need to start to see how is that a part of me and how can I start to allow myself to release that. And these two ways are just very, very strong ways, but there's so many other ways a guy do this. If I think back to college, I think back to the time where, actually I didn't go to college for that long, I went to college for like a semester. But I think back to college and I think about that one semester I went, and I like this Chinese girl. And this Chinese girl, her name was Cynthia, and Cynthia was really like this football player on the team, and I was trying to get Cynthia. Now, as I'm trying to get Cynthia, I'm being around her all the time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm allowing her to talk about the guy she likes. And I'm thinking, that okay, I'm just going to get in at some point. And as I'm thinking that, you know, I'm around her all the time. And then out of the blue, I just go, you know what? I'm going to just try something. I go, yeah, so uh, what about me and you? I said something about me and her in a, uh, in a way where there was romance. And she, she just sent me a message that was like, ew. And she said something else. I'm like, I'm friends with you. I would never do that. And I remember feeling so bad, like, oh my God, I've been around this girl for so long and I'm trying to weave myself in in some way to try to make her see that I am the guy for her or I can be the man that she wants. And in doing that, that taught me that just because you stay around and stick it out does not mean that the girl at some point is going to be like, all right, since you don't want to stick it out, I'm just going to like you. No, because my agenda underneath was very different than what she knew. She thought we were just friends, but my agenda was, I'm gonna be around you, and I'm gonna show you that I can be the man that you can like. Overextending myself by being around her, giving her more of my energy by just staying around her too long. <clears throat> Women avoid guys who are being too nice because they always are trying to get something back from them. They are never coming up trying to share, they're always trying to take. And if any of you guys are noticing within yourself that, oh, I just want a woman to like me. Oh, I just want to go up and I just want to give a girl a compliment and I want to respond good. Oh, I just want to have this happen when I do this. I want to have this happen when I do this. You're pushing women away with these behaviors. These two nice guy behaviors are making women go, I don't want to be around that man because when I'm around him, I feel stressed. I feel like he's constantly trying to be something he's not. I feel like he's constantly trying to get something from me. And when he's being this way, it doesn't make me feel sexy. It doesn't make me feel cherished. It doesn't make me feel like he wants me. Because a woman can't feel truly wanted by a man who's trying to overextend to try to get something from her so he can feel a certain way. She won't really feel that he wants her. Never. Never will she. And that's the, the amazing thing about this is that you either attract a woman who completely is just going to manipulate you or, or women are just repulsed by you. <laughs> Those are literally the two ends you have. So for the women who are, are repulsed by you, you'll never get them and it leaves you with the women who can manipulate you. Whether it be emotionally, whether it be financially, whether it be uh, mentally, they will manipulate you because you're manipulating them. And guys are like, no, I'm not. I'm being nice. I'm being really sweet, like I've been taught. I'm being really nice. Why is she acting like this? The reason why is because your niceness, it has an agenda. So that means that you're trying to manipulate the situation with every woman you meet. So that means you can only attract a woman who's a manipulator. You are getting exactly what you deserve. I was getting exactly what I deserved back in the day. And guess what? The moment that you let go of your manipulative behaviors and you stop trying to be something that you're not, you stop trying to act out these behaviors that actually don't benefit you with women, you start to attract women who are much more honest. You start to attract women who can see if a man is not honest. <clears throat> that is the beauty of this. Because when you become truth, when you become a man that stems from truth, you can only attract truth. Because if you see manipulation, you, you immediately push it out. Because you go, <clears throat> that's not for me. You can already see because 
<clears throat> whatever is inside of you, you'll be able to see that, especially if you have the awareness. You'll be able to notice it. You'll be able to feel that. I can feel any time I walk up to a woman now and she's manipulating me. I can feel it immediately. Immediately. Because when she's talking to me and she's doing these little mannerisms and she's just, uh, you know, and saying things, I can see right through it because I'm allowing myself to be focused on what kind of woman is she really? Because I'm giving her all that I am, and when a woman is not giving me all that she is, I can see right through it. Right through it very easily because I've been able to see through my own bullshit ways, my own manipulative ways of the past, and I've let those go. And as I emptied out space and within myself of these manipulative ways, what has now come is truth. And that's what every man is truly seeking within himself when he's in front of a woman or when he's just going through life he's seeking to be truthful with her but he's afraid of if I be truthful is that mean I've been taught that you shouldn't do that I've been taught that if you start showing truth people won't like you and you're right some won't but that's good you need to have people who don't like you because that creates space for people who do like you Allow people who don't like you to just be where they are and accept that they don't like you. But anybody else who do like you, they deserve to be in your life. Those women out there deserve who you are. They deserve a chance with you, but you're not giving them a chance. You're giving all the women a chance who want to manipulate you. All the women a chance who completely are on this side because until you come on this side, they can't really want you because they're like, you're not, a, I don't see, I don't feel who you are. Do you see what I'm getting at? When you let go of these ways about you, you start attracting women who are on the side of who can really like you for you, who really are on the side of being truly themselves. But until you do that, you'll always get what you deserve. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe below to Essence of Solo, and if you want to do coaching with me, Skype coaching one-on-one -on -one, or with the TNL team, go to the naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page and put in an inquiry. Until next time, 